come on in welcome back to my channel and welcome to my humble abode most of you should know i'm in the process of moving so i thought now would be the perfect time to show you where i've been living i get questions from you guys sometimes about show your decoration so now here it is before we get into things though remember to subscribe and then there is somewhere down there I should know by now but I don't hit the notification button so that you know when I post something come on let's go for the tour so right when you come into my apartment you walk right into the kitchen don't really think it's anything fancy but I always have a, a candle burning um, and you should also know I love my coffee and my tea so my curing and my kettle are the two things that I can't live without. So those are on the, the counter, easy, accessible, ready to go. Um, moving over here to my bar, I wanna give a little bit of a disclaimer because yes, I lived alone in this apartment and it looks kind of bad. But what happened was, I do collect alcohol from different parts of the world. You guys know I travel quite a bit. I also like hosting parties, and so a lot of times my friends will bring a bottle of something over, and then, you know, it becomes this. So, no, I don't have a drinking problem. I do think I was a bartender in my past life, but that kind of explains this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and say that I'm a 1942 girl. This is my favorite drink, so kind of expensive like me it's obviously time to re-up but you know I don't have a drinking problem though <laughs> so we're now in my workspace but this was my dining room area uh, before I go any further let me tell you guys that this is a studio apartment so I have made it functional for myself me living alone but also being the little entrepreneur that I am on top of being an athlete. So this desk, I love it. I got it from Z Gallery and then the bench. The bench is meant to go with the dining room table but I loved it with the desk. So I went ahead and put the two together. So I got my little Martha Stewart interior design on. And then up top behind me, you guys know everywhere I go in the world, I like to collect my Starbucks mugs. So my full collection is behind me. Some may be packed away, but for the most part, they're all up there. So now that you've seen my workspace, let me take you into my living room, which it's all one big room, huh? But um, again, nothing special to me. I have a white couch that my friends come over and they're like, I don't wanna sit on your white couch. It's leather, so it'll wipe off like, What's the big deal? You know, I'm from New York City, so I had to have a picture of, I believe that's the Flatiron Building, and that was cheap. I got that from Ikea. Roll it out, put it on a little frame, hang it up, voila. Looks expensive. What I'm most proud of in this room, though, so when I moved into this apartment, you know, they sell you, right? And I guess when I went into the model, there was a light here, but when I moved in, it was just a little post. So I went to Ikea, I probably got this for like a hundred bucks, but it lights up the room. Every time someone comes in, they're like, oh my God, I love your chandelier. And I'm like, yeah, I got it from Ikea. I did it my, and I installed it myself. I got on a ladder and hooked it up myself. Bedroom. Again, nothing that I feel is special, but you know, y'all want to see my bedroom, I guess. Again, Z Gallery. You can't tell I love that store. Um, I got my bed maybe uh, three or four years ago. She is always made. I make my bed up every morning. I sleep on just a little corner. So it's just that little corner that I mess up in the morning and then I put it back together before I leave. Over here is my dresser picture of me and my fiance when he proposed. That happened really fast. Um, and then just some little tchotchkes that I thought were cute. My mom gave me a little picture frame of me and her with some encouraging words. And then I have some track stuff. This is a trophy from the Shanghai Diamond League. I was getting ready to say Be Beijing, but this is Shanghai 2017. Yeah, 16. And then my Olympic ring. 
So yeah, some special things that I look at every day while watching TV from bed. And then onto this little corner, it's just a little chest of drawer. Again, I got this from Z Gallery as well. Threw some more tchotchkes up here. But another special item, I met Oprah Winfrey after the Beijing Olympics. I believe it was all of the Olympic team, everyone who made the Olympic team. I'm here on the end. I can see myself, you probably can't, but. Um, and I did get to hold Oprah's hand. I remember when there was a moment after this that we walked off the stage and me being right there at the end, I was like the first person off the stage and she extended her hand and I excitedly grabbed. <laughs> so I held Oprah's hand. So this is a little corner of my bedroom slash living room obviously some pictures of some memorable moments so i have my uniform and my letter of congratulations and my spikes this is what i wore to actually make the team for rio and my rep jamie at under armor she had it framed so obviously something that's very special to me and then i have you know little pictures around myself on the podium my mom my brother um that picture was taken on, I think we were, drop, we were dropping him off, checking him in as a freshman at Vandy. So yeah, just some special moments. My ESPN the body shoot, as if I need to see myself naked. But uh, <laughs> can't help it. And uh, I went to Thailand uh, a couple years ago as well. So I have some moments from that trip as well. So this is like my little memories, special corner area. Clearly, I love clothes. I have a lot of those things. If you've seen my Insta story, it can get a little messy in here and I kind of let it get out of hand with the move coming up. I was just like, eh, I'm moving. But let's start over here. I got my dresses, my long stuff on this side of the closet. Above that, I have my USA stuff that I've actually moved some of it out already, but yeah, I'm kind of a hoarder, sentimental values girl, so I can't use that stuff all the time for sponsorship reasons, but I mean, I went to the Olympics, I went to world championships. How do you just give that stuff away, right? But neither here nor there. Then there's all my clothes. <laughs> kind of sort of color coordinated, but you know, yeah, that part. This would be my absolute favorite part of my closet, would be my shoes. And I have them set up like this so that I can look at them. Um, I come in and I'm like, okay, what do I wanna wear? Um, where do I begin, where do I begin? So those up there, I can't get up there. I guess I should share some favorites. Let me get the ladder. Okay, I'm gonna share some of my favorites. Um, these right here, first of all, I love a good combat boot. And these are some Alexander Wangs that I got while I was out in Portland. I've been wearing the mess out of these. Why? Because I have a little bit of a knee injury that you should already know about because you're following my vlog, right? So I can't wear heels at the moment. So these bad boys, I have killed them. Another favorite are these Louis Vuitton. Um, combat boot they are runway I got them from I'm gonna mess it up I bought them in Paris at the Champs-Élysées store I know I messed that up somebody's gonna get me together but yeah they were limited edition they're runway I get tons of compliments on these when I do wear them and I actually have not seen them over here in the States so yeah that's another favorite and then lastly I can't choose between the two but first of all Let's talk about how uncomfortable these shoes are. So Kate Christian Louboutins. I have them in pink, I have them in black. I also have a gold pair. They're so uncomfortable, but they're just, when you put these on, oh my God, you feel like, I, yeah, I just feel like I'm unstoppable. So, and then lastly, you know, there's got to be a sneaker wall in here. On this shelf, I have some of my favorite Under Armour sneakers. Uh, see what can I grab for so first these are some Steph Curry's the rest of my Steph Curry's are in shoe boxes that unfortunately I've already moved but um yeah I have way more than this this pair actually 
this pair was actually like black and white but I had them spray painted gold for the um, USATF black tie sneaker gala that they have every year. So I wore these with a nice dress. Maybe I can insert a photo there. So lastly, if you haven't already noticed, I also have a chandelier in here. Another chandelier that I got from Ikea. Um, and there, there was a light fixture in here obviously, but it just wasn't cute. So I wanted to glam it up go for kind of a department store feel i.e the shoe rack um yeah so it'll be interesting to see how i move this over to the new house because um i'm gonna have to share a closet <laughs> so how is that going to work but we'll see and i love i don't know i don't want to let her go but it might be too feminine nope I'm bringing a chandelier over there too. So you've seen my home. One of the things that I love about this place is that it was super functional. Um, it was cute for me, but it is time to move on and move on into more adult things. <laughs> so I will be sharing that experience with you guys. Actually, let me know if you wanna see more of the process or if you just wanna see the finished product at the new home. I could use your help on that but in the meantime just make sure you're subscribed again hit that notification button and i'll see you next time bye